to tie this in way earlier. I heard you on the um, interview on the subject matter of, if that's the case, you know Magic Johnson is a guest in basketball. Mm -hmm. Jordan, whoop, that mm -hmm. makes so much sense. I want to ask you this. Is that a real direct parallel correlation when NBA, NFL, is it the same thing when a, a certain industry cannot exist without the new members versus someone who's just present, being successful in general? Is right. That... No, it's totally different. Okay. You know what I mean? I, but I was just saying. I know that's all subject. It would have made just... way more sense if I would have brought it up back then. Yeah, but yeah, I had. Yeah. I thought that was a great point and yeah, it just yeah, came yeah. back no, to my no. head. No, see, but, but see, when I said that, I ain't, I wasn't trying to, of course, like black people dominated the sport. So you can't like out of hell, you know what I'm saying? But that's like, that's like, that's like you telling a kid that that loves basketball, you know what I'm saying? That loves that grew up playing basketball, but he sucks. Mm -hmm. You telling him he's not. Part but of the what culture. is so disrespectful about being a guest? But here's the guests thing: I'm, I'm, I'm not today as a guest. In the beginning, we, we we alluded to this. I didn't want to go into detail about the situation where he went through to find parking. As a guest, everything he went through. Guess what I did. I volunteered to go through because right. he was my guest. Right. Him being humble, a man I'm just doing his thing, he chose to go through the struggle himself. But as a guest, guest people are respected. They are right. What is such, why do people get so defensive when the word guest is used? Well, I'm I'm not defensive. If I'm a guest, then I'm a guest. I, there's nothing wrong with being a guest. I'm just not a guest. I don't feel <laughs> like I'm a guest. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I know Eminem said it, but I'm not Eminem, bro. I don't feel like I'm a guest, bro. And you, you know, know why Eminem know he's a guest? Because if he sat at the table of Dr. Dre, the original, one of the most cornerstone, black, successful, he, he had he not sat at that table and maybe did that with Scott Storch, uh, someone of that nature, and we never knew about him, it would be a different story, no guess, because you right. came into something that was not yours or not affiliated with your people, and then you did astronomical numbers no one ever seen without any assistance from the greatest, one of the greatest platform uh, fucking landscapers for artists ever known to this fucking industry, and he happens to be black. Right. I mean, like, that's like a, to me, I don't understand how as a younger me, I was duped. Eminem, 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 Eminem. But as I was grown and mature, and you understand what a budget does and a rollout in Jimmy Iovine in the scope. He was nice, but he ain't, you know, he wasn't. He Bro, wasn't like, he is not the Bruce Lee of this shit. Nah. He's best at, he, I, he's best at this point. What we give him praise for is rapping fast and using syllables and words that we don't understand, relate to, or care about. Right. That's what he gets the most applause for. Right. The shit that he slows down and says that we all understand. Okay. Right. It was, it used to, at, when you got, it was the whole spice of Dr. Dre at who he was at that time, that twerky voice. He was on beat. It was shit we never heard. We were kids. It was a lot to it, and it was marketed. It was very well marketed, promoted, developed, heavily budgeted, and served to us. But when I, it's just like when I watch um, fucking Miss Society right now. When I watched Miss Society when it first came out, it was like a documentary or a fucking video camera. Somebody did like this. When I watch it now and I see that scene when Kane is a kid on the back porch and they tell him, don't get that little nigga the gun. Do you know how Hollywood and cheap and corny that shit look now? Right. So it's the same thing with a lot of things I used to think and believe. You was in the hype. Thank you. Was in the hype. Thank you. Thank but, you. But but to go back with the with the with the uh with the uh visitor thing, you know what I'm saying? With the uh guest. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like I'm a guest because like, you know, I don't look at like when 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 I'm with you right now talking to you, like I don't feel like a guest into like, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 I feel like you my brother, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like I you Likewise. know what I mean when like like I don't when I go into black people homes, yes, I'm a guest, but I don't feel like a guest. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like hip hop, I'm not a guest to like, it's, it's something. Nah, it's, it's written all over you, me. homie. You nah, me? I, it's me. So for me to just say- Tell them, that's for, your camera, for, tell them, for cause I see to, it. For me to say that I'm a guest, I would just be like tucking my dick between my- It's almost like, like you, you know, have bro. a fucking American army 
And guess what it looks like when you go down the lineup? You see a white Brad with a long nose, a me and a him, and then a Jose. And that's the United States of America yeah. front line of their army. That's how diverse it looks. How can you tell either of them they're any less American one or another? So Dang. whatever you're tapped into from your fucking core and your soul. That's what it is. I get it. I you get it, me? bro. And that's what it is for me. So I can't. How can I? How can I take that? Like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't believe it, so I'm not gonna take it just because it's gonna make anybody feel any better. Cause I don't believe it is the truth, so I'm not gonna jack it. So and I'm, I, I'm gonna just throw a monkey wrench in the program. Where do you get conflicted? Where, just tell me this, cause one of my favorite songs is these days is if the world was ending, you come over, right? The world is ending. The last thing on the line is your culture as far as where you grew up, against the people you look like. What this, what, what I live I, here, bro. Like, And this is what I said in, in the Math Hoffa joint. If we go into war with China and China drop a bomb, you, you, think, just the bomb because, on you. you think just because I'm Chinese, that bomb mm. is not going to affect me and my family? 